everyone, it's Kyle again, your host of Auto Show Web TV. As you know, every episode we kind of recap what went on on our fan page, as well as what's going on in the auto world, with the show, all that whole shebang. Anyways, what I want to first discuss is thanks to everybody who has used Twitter to try to win a t-shirt. Keep trying if you haven't got there. Like the board says over here, the 15th is our last day, so keep doing um, our hashtag auto show tees. We'll be selecting a winner every day up until January 15th. That's every work day, not on the weekends, just so you guys know. Um, as far as ticket winners, congratulations. Uh, if you haven't won a ticket yet, remember, go to autoshow.ca to our features and you'll find a place to enter to win free tickets. So Yokohama is making some interesting news. Why are they making interesting news? They're making interesting news because they're using these little guys, which is an orange, to make their next set of tires. Nearly 20 gallons of petroleum go into a single set of tires. By extracting oil from orange peels into natural rubber, Yokohama has cut the amount of petroleum in their DB Super E-Spec tire by 80%, making a much more environmentally friendly uh, tire. So with using oranges, you're probably asking yourself, okay, well, are they using the peels and throwing out the oranges? They're actually not. They're actually using orange juice. And how are they using orange juice? It's simple. The orange juice companies... Oh, sorry. I'm getting things thrown away left, right, and center here. The orange juice companies are donating their, giving their peels, rather, to Yokohama. So now they're making this environmentally friendly tire, they've got orange peels, and you ask yourself, okay, orange peels, are they going to perform the same as other natural tires? In braking distance, yeah, everything's fine. Everything is on par with natural tires, which is great. The added bonus to this is they're actually made an emissions-free plant. Okay, so our next item up for discussion is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of where our future is heading. I picture this environment where people are remotely controlling their vehicles. This is kind of a step in that way, and the fact that the car's intelligence system is messaging to your phone to tell you, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. If your hybrid car, in this case the Chevy Volt, um, needs to be charged or is done charging, it can send a message to your smartphone telling you, hey, I'm done, or hey, I need more electricity. So we're still waiting for that to come out. It hasn't been a release technology just yet, but it's just at the peak. So check that out. There may be other features coming. I might be able to tell you someone was mentioning mileage, all that kind of information, which would be really neat as well. That's about it, guys. Um, check our fan page. You'll find more information on the Aston Martin Signet, which is the small little IQ-based vehicle. There are more photos and more information on specs on one of our links on our fan pages near the top. I believe I just posted that today, so check that out. Uh, the, Pro the Ferrari P540 is also up there, which is kind of a retro-looking supercar. Check that one out. It's a one-off. Very cool. Uh, and don't forget that uh, we're still doing the t-shirts, we're still doing the Twitter, check out autoshow.ca for web episodes, keep checking back to our fan page for more news. And I guess the final message is for everyone to have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, Feliz Navidad, Happy Holidays, the whole nine yards. We still will be posting uh, during the weekdays, but I will not be doing a video, so I won't be doing a video until 2010. So I wish you guys all the best and the safest ho of holidays, and take care. Talk to you soon.